Okay everyone, welcome back. And today is a different video than my normal video. And I'm gonna be just doing a time lapse of a computer build. For not for me, I already built my computer. I I might um do a vi I might post I took some footage of that. I don't know, I might post that, I'm not sure. If I can even find the video camera that I recorded it on. But this is on my phone, so it should still be able to do 1080p decent but the audio is not going to be it's probably going to be a little bit subpar so i apologize so this is for actually for a christmas present for someone so we're just gonna call him johanathan for now it's not his actual name but whatever so i'm just gonna run through the components real quick before um i actually start building it, it then i'll do like a time lapse thing as long as my phone has enough space for me to record all that in 1080p we'll see so, um, so first off, the case is a Cooler Master Elite 110. It's a mini ITX case because, um, just in case he wants to bring it from place to place from time to time. Um, it's nice to have a small, smaller case. And, um, so the, for the PSU, a EVGA 430 watt. We don't need an insanely OP PSU for this build. The RAM is just four um, gigabytes of a G skill or rip draw. Pretty, pretty much. Um, a lot of people think you need eight gigabytes for this sort of build, but this is just going to be doing very well. First off, no, four gigabytes is completely fine for this because um, it's not like you're going to be doing any extreme multitasking or anything. And um, so yeah, because if I didn't mention before, this build is for light gaming, primarily like Minecraft, TF2, Robocraft, those sort of games. So. It, it's gonna. It's not gonna be. It's gonna be pretty standard. Nothing really overpowered. Nothing overkill. So yeah. Um. We got the standard one terabyte hard drive. With this budget, we had a lot of budget restraints. At least I had. So couldn't afford to do any sort of SSD. And as far as the um, processor goes, Intel Pentium G three three two five eight. Sorry, LGA one one five zero. And for the motherboard, it's a mini ITX motherboard, of course. So I just went with the Essentials H81H3-I, which should be fine for this. I mean, again, nothing really, really overkill at all. It's pretty standard, but it, it'll, it'll get the job done for sure. So, and then lastly, the graphics card, because it would not be able to play games without a graphics card. So um, EVGA GeForce GTX 750Ti made sure it would fit in this case, and it does. PC Part Picker is a lifesaver. I love using that for to make build lists, even though I'm not you know, not that good at making build lists. Whatever, because um, I actually had someone recommend these parts to me from the internet. And so anyway, Nvidia G Sync, which is like the greatest thing ever. But um, so yeah, that's that that's the that's the build basically. I tried to keep that pretty short, but it ended up being like three minutes. So I guess I'll just start with the build then.
vitality all right so it's finally finished got all the components it took a while there was some troubleshooting involved but other than that it is finally finished so it is time to I guess to install windows all right so here I've set up a little um, a little test station I guess with the, my worst keyboard and the ugliest monitor I could find in my garage and along with the worst mouse ever but this is just to install Windows anyway and maybe run some benchmarks and set up some stuff so yeah um, we'll see in a second alright so um, I have started installing Windows will it probably will take a little bit it's just starting to install I'm installing it from a USB and um, so yeah another thing that I really like so EVGA I think in their graphics card I think it was in the graphics card they have a nice DV or DVI to VGA converter which is what I needed actually because this monitor is so old and the motherboard had a I believe the motherboard had a VGA input but since when it detected the graphics card the motherboard input becomes disabled so I needed to use the graphics card input and it only had a DVI and an HDMI, and this monitor has a VGA, so I was able to use the converter to do the DVI to um, and a VGA, which was awesome. So yeah, um, we'll see. This is going to take forever, so um, I'll come back when it's finished, I guess. Okay, so the build is completely done. We've got Windows on it. Everything's good. All the programs are installed, and it's ready to be shipped to the person who will actually be using it. So it's time to put my test monitor and keyboard and all that those peripherals back into the garage so yeah um this was kind of a weird video and unusual for my channel but uh i don't care i decided this would be a good thing to make a video on so hope you enjoyed and next time i build a pc i'll probably record it too since i thought this was a kind of fun video to make hopefully i'll do a better job maybe like maybe record it with something other than my phone maybe look into getting like an actual camera or something but who knows so yeah also for those of you wondering how this managed minecraft and maybe other games well i did play minecraft on it at almost max settings it was able to get around 400 fps on single player and then on multiplayer it was around 300 fps on basically max settings team fortress 2 and other light steam games like robocraft ran absolutely fine I have yet to try other Steam games, but as for now, this does what I expected and more.